Hey, what's good guys? This is Spanky. Today I've got the Avengers Age of Ultron War Machine. This is the Marvel Legends Infinite Series. Right there, and you can build the figure Hulk. There's the head. It's kind of tiny. Uh, on the back here we get a little picture of the War Machine. Nice little glossy picture. And if you want, if I can get it in there, you can pause it and read that. And then move it on. Uh, I'm not sure when exactly or what order I'll release all these figures, but this is going to be the last of the series that I'm doing so far because I've already reviewed all these. So I'd really appreciate it if you guys went and checked it out. And after this, I'm definitely going to be assembling the massive Hulk Buster and uh, reviewing that as well. So check that out. Other than that, let's open it up. So here's War Machine out of package. We get some great detail throughout. A lot of just uh, black and silver. Not too much other things than that. I do like the way his armor sculpted. It's a pretty familiar sculpt. We've seen it a few times before. A little bit's borrowed from other Iron Man figures, and it's also uh, really similar to the Iron Patriot figure that came out just a while ago, except for different colors, of course. I, I'm definitely a fan of the Iron Patriot, but when it comes to War Machine, I like my uh, black and silver. He looks just freaking awesome. This is just a really cool combination of colors. Um, I'm not, that's kind of a weird sticker looking paint. They keep doing that. I'm not sure what Hasbro deal is with come that. And up here, we can see his gun. And again, this is just, I really don't like the gun, but that's more of a personal preference. I wish, for the love of God, that who's ever doing the MCU Universe War Machine design would bring back the machine gun, the mini gun, and the machine guns on his gauntlets. Those were just like freaking awesome at the end of a. Uh, Iron Man 2 when he's blasting everybody with that stuff. Bring that back. What is this crap? Oh, it's like, it looks stupid. I, it's whack. I mean, he used to be so freaking cool with all his machine guns, but now he just looks too much like Iron Man. I feel like all the additions of all the guns just, I don't know, maybe they're trying to be politically correct, but with all that, all the guns, he just looks too much like Iron Man. He looks too much, too generic. Uh, I wish they'd bring back all the big missiles and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know if they're trying to be politically correct and... I don't know what, maybe they're not, I mean, politically correct by, like, not being too militarized or whatever, I don't want to offend anybody, kind of bull crap, I don't know. And we got some cool decal right there, a little bit of America decal looking stuff. You can see on his gauntlets there, he's got some sculpted, look kind of like guns, but that's definitely a different sculpt from the other Iron Man figures. Let me look at his legs, he's definitely a bit stocky, he looks awesome. Other than that, I just don't like that. That's more of a personal preference. He also comes with this extra head sculpt here. You can see Rhodey in there. I like that a lot. They've done this before with Tony Stark, but never with Rhodey, not that I know of. So that's a really good addition. His eyes came out really well, and it actually looks like the, uh, the actor, and I can't think of his name right now. Getting into articulation, his head will go back that far, which isn't far at all. Actually, that's just straightforward, so it doesn't go back at all. He will go down a little bit, but I guess he is a big machine, so I guess he doesn't get a lot of articulation on his head. Of course, it pops off, so you can put the other head on there. It's just a ball joint. Not too happy with the way this was made. I don't remember how the Iron Patriot one was made, but it lacks articulation here and right here. So as you can see, it's kind of just always at a weird angle. I can't ever really get it parallel to the rest of his body. It's always at a weird angle unless I put it right there. But if I could move it like right here, then I could get it parallel, but for some reason just won't do that. It will turn right here. It will go up and down. But without the articulation there, that just looks kind of weird. Don't you think at the angle like that? Maybe that's just me. But uh, and those th this is the only articulations right there and at the base, it'll swivel and it will pop out so that you can just have iron or War Machine himself. The missile launcher or whatever gun does look better if it's on his left side because then you can actually get it straight because I was just complaining about how on the right side it never really looks parallel to the figure but this is uh... this looks pretty good. So if you're gonna put it on the figure, put it on the left side. I'm pretty sure this is the side it was made for but yeah, I, didn't, I don't remember switching sides. I think it came the figure came with it on this side. I don't remember pulling it out. I could be wrong but Put it on his left side, it looks a lot better. He's got the hinges here for his shoulder pads, except this one doesn't hinge very well. 
this one hinges perfectly, but this one's just kind of moldy, really flexible plastic and doesn't stay up. That's weird. I guess I'll have to, I'll have to work with that for some reason. But I'll go on this side. You can go up that high. You can't do a 360, of course, because of his shoulder pads there. You can only go that high. You've got double jointed elbows. I don't know why my camera just does not want to go in focus. He'll swivel, and because of his gauntlets here, he doesn't get much hinge backwards, but he will go forward pretty far. Um, ab crunch, not much to speak of at all. It's more of a diaphragm joint than an ab crunch, if anything, but we're not really getting anything out of that. His legs will only kick up that far. They'll kick back that far. Double jointed knee. And then, again, like the other Iron Man figure, absolutely no ankle articulation. I mean, his armor is all the way around there. I don't know if you can see that. But it's just his ankle and his whole foot is just encased in this armor. There's no way he could freaking walk with his feet like that. I mean, you don't even get a little bit of a hinge out of it. They don't even go up and down. I mean, he's just, he's just stiff as a rock. Overall, it is not really that great of a figure. I'm not a big fan of it. I already don't like the design, and they didn't really do anything articulation-wise or or anything else. I mean, paint apps are just pretty basic stuff to make me accept the design. I really still do appreciate the old design a way lot more than this. This is just, I don't know, it looks too much like Iron Man. He doesn't look like a war machine. I'm just not too thrilled about it, and Hasbro didn't make me really like it either, so... But other than that, I really do appreciate you watching. Make sure you check out my other reviews. I'll be doing the Hulkbuster Build-A-Figure very, very soon. So, have a good day. And like, comment, subscribe. And if you, uh, if you do like this figure, or if you want to check out more of the figures in this wave, check out Big Bad Toy Store in the description below. I know they do have these in stock, or for pre-order even. Uh, yeah, have a good day. Peace out.